Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to solve part third and part fourth of question number five. You have to show that means you have to prove that the right hand side is equal to the left hand side. Here to solve this, we have to use certain identities. So if I consider this complete term as x and this complete term as y, I am considering at 4 upon 3 m as x and 3 upon 4 n as y. So this will become whole square and we know that whenever I, if I want to expand this, so this is equal to x square plus y square minus 2xy and uh, first of all I am solving for the left hand side and I am making this equal to the right hand side. So let's expand this x minus y whole square is equal to x square plus y square minus 2xy and our x square which is 4 upon 3m this complete square plus y which is 3 upon 4n complete square and minus 2 into x into y and our x is 4 upon 3m and our y is 3 upon 4n and this value which is plus 2mn will remain as it is. So I have expanded this term as this. Now let's further solve this. 4 upon 3m square means this square will be with all the constant and with the variable. So 4 square is 16 upon 3 square is 9 and this is m square plus this is 3 square is 9, 4 square is 16 and square. Now if you want to solve this, I have to multiply these terms. So multiply 4, 4 can be cancelled, 3, 3 can be cancelled and the remaining one which is 2mn minus 2mn will be, come, uh, will be the answer plus this term 2mn will remain as it is. To further solve this, these and this are like terms mn and mn so this can be solved because these are exact copy so plus minus can be cancelled out and the remaining one which is 16 upon 9 m square plus 9 upon 16 n square should be the answer which is exactly equal to the right hand side so this is how we can prove that left hand side is equal to the right hand side similarly here also and you have to prove that this left hand side is equal to the right hand side because the, here the values are too big what I can do is I can consider this complete value as A and this as B this complete value as B so this is A plus B whole square minus because this is same as this so this is our A and this is our B so I have considered A as 4PQ and B as 3Q. So now I am solving the left hand side and this will I will prove to the right hand side. So instead of solving this I am solving for this because I have considered A as 4PQ and B as 3Q. So expanding this, expanding this a plus b whole square is basically equal to a square plus b square plus 2ab. This is the first bracket and minus a minus b whole square is equal to a square plus b square minus 2ab. Now I have to open the bracket so this will remain as it is but here the sign outside the bracket is negative so all the sign inside the bracket should get changed so plus will become minus a square this plus will become minus b square this minus will become plus 2ab now these two terms can be solved with these two terms a square a square are like terms plus minus can be cancelled out b square b square are like terms plus minus can be cancelled out and plus 2ab and plus 2ab can be solved and this is 4 a b so answer our answer should be 4 a b because we have considered a as 
4 p q and b as 3 q so now i can substitute the values so this should be equal to 4 into 4 is 16 into 3 is 48 so this is 48 and with p and there is q multiplied by q so that should be q square so this is exactly same as the right hand side so this should be the answer so this is the shortcut way or you can say this is the best method to solve this instead for solving this complete value so this is how you can solve this question thank you